Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Litecoin has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators RSI, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Litecoin hourly time frame, the price moved quickly to the downside with around 5.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 214. However, the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 36, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Moving to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 48, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.